Hey everyone, I'm Shiva, a principal product manager at UiPath, and I'm here to talk about the all new data fabric. Now, data transactions are key in every node of a UiPath automation, a maestro process, or any other part of the platform. Until now, the data was siloed, spread across these different products within the platform, and in many cases outside the UiPath platform in ERP or CRM systems. There was no way to tie the data together and back to your automation of process. Now, UiPath's data fabric is a unified data layer that can model enterprise data for end-to-end -end business processes. It is a zero-copy construct where we virtually connect with data from your external data systems and databases, define relationships with the UiPath data and the process. Let's jump into a quick demo in the context of a loan application process. Hey everyone. Now the Mainstro Canvas was your process modeling layer, and I'm going to walk you through the data modeling layer and how you can build a loan application entity. UiPath Data Fabric is an extension of UiPath's data service. We have completely reimagined its UI and capabilities, including a brand new data modeling experience. Here you see a bunch of local fields like data extracted from the loan documents and the status of each approval step. You could also connect with existing entities like the loan doc entity. And apart from this, you can also connect with external systems. In this case, we connect with the CRM to read or write customer information. Now these external fields are connected virtually, which means that your data can reside where it is today, no data migrations, and we perform runtime fetches on your data and the data never becomes stale. Now to the same entities, we're gonna add another external data source. We've seen many large organizations, especially the ones that have undergone mergers and acquisitions, that data is split between multiple systems and migrations are still in progress. So here I pick HubSpot, select the integration service connection I'd like to use and the contact object. Now I can select fields from the contact object that I'm interested in. And in this case, I pick some legacy account information. I also set up a join criteria to map between the email addresses from HubSpot and the local object. Now you can see an arrow show up between these two objects. This defines the relationship and ties the data together. Now let's see what we can get out of this data. First off, you get these end-to-end -end data records. For each loan application, you can see what happens at every step of the process along with relevant customer information. This view is very powerful. And once you've built these models once, they can be accessed across agents, automations, processes, and anywhere else in the UiPath platform or externally via APIs. Now let's double click on the consumption layer and I'll show you exactly how seamless it is to consume data fabric. Let's take a look at one of the nodes in Maestro that needs access to data. Here data is stored by reference in data fabric and accessed natively almost like it's a local variable. This is exactly the same whether you're accessing a local field or even a field from your CRM system. And not just Maestro, but you could connect with your existing RPA workflows and data fabric to make it much, much more seamless to interface with data. With this unified view of data connected across your business systems and databases, imagine the kinds of questions you can answer. From deep case management scenarios for loan status tracking to really complex insights. For example, which US states have the highest loan approval rates? It becomes extremely easy to build on top of the data layer. Being an extension of data service, Data Fabric natively comes with granular access controls and audit trails. Now, I hope all of this piques your interest. Data Fabric is in private preview currently and will go public preview in the month of May. Look forward to your use cases loading up with it.